Okay, so today I'm gonna to walk you through how to build Sankey charts in Microsoft Power BI. There are two custom visuals we can use to create Sankey charts. Both of them kind of have some pros and some cons. The one on the screen right now is a third party visual and um, Sankey charts are super useful to understand the flow of data, uh, flow of inputs to outputs. It helps us identify areas where things may get stuck or go smoothly. They're super useful in understanding like cash flow statements, income statements. Um, this is the second visual and it's actually Microsoft approved. So it's canned Microsoft. It's a little less flexible, a little less customizable, but um, these are just two simple options we can work with to create a Sankey chart in Power BI. Okay, so we have to get our data formatted in kind of a unique way to make these work. And of course, uh, with two different charts and two different companies making the charts, they have to be formatted in a slightly different way. So for the Microsoft chart, we need a sender or source node and a receiver or a, you know, a destination node. And here I've got a simple kind of income statement and I've also applied the values here, which will ultimately make the Sankey chart have different widths and help us tell that data story. So um, as you can see, I've got gross revenue kind of broken up. Taxes, obviously parts of taxes are state tax, federal tax, property tax. Um, and then I've got operating expenses here and then uh, sending those to more granular operating expenses. And then there's a little bit of profit coming from gross revenue. So for steps, that same exact Excel data that we had in the previous step. Let's do an import from Excel in Power BI Desktop. And I named my tab Microsoft. Yep, so there's the exact same table we saw. So let's load it up. Then we wanna to go to the visualizations pane. I've got them both brought in, but I'll show you how to actually add them in. You hit the three little dots here and it'll open up the third-party visuals marketplace. Some of these are Microsoft, most of them are third-party. Let's just search Sankey and let's ignore the third one. Um, let's grab the first one. It doesn't have the most stellar of ratings and you'll kind of see why as we build this thing out, but it, it is still really useful. So you click add here and it'll actually add it to your PBIX. If we click it, we'll have a blank visual and let's start dragging in some data. So like I said, our source node is the sender, um, receiver, I'm just using some different names here, and it's already being built out. And then sum of value will um, change the widths of where it's, our gross revenue is ultimately leading. So we pay some taxes. You see this little gap here? I don't really like that. I'm gonna show you how to get rid of that gap. Um, not in links, nodes, scale settings. So this little selector here, it's trying to kind of optimize the visual. And if we turn that off, it'll actually meet the bars perfectly. So it just looks a little better. They give you some flexibility here to kind of drag and move around. Um, and as you can see, the color bars are, um, they don't make a whole lot of sense. So let's change some colors here, gross revenue. Maybe we want revenue green and then uh, operating expenses, maybe we want it kind of a reddish, taxes, make them a different color, profit should be a light green, like money here. And uh, in links, you can do some additional formatting, like changing the kind of the shadow color. So if I make that green, it's gonna make that whole link green. Um, I guess they're already black, so we didn't see that change. Um, so there's an example there, like we just changed state tax to light blue. So the customization on the Microsoft one is not amazing, but um, you know it can get you somewhere. So okay, so I told you we do two types of Sankey charts. This is a third-party company called Chart Expo. Looks like they make some pretty cool stuff. Um, the formatting in Excel is gonna be a little different. You can actually go up to eight different levels. So uh, you can really split out your data um, as it's being distributed. And here I'm just gonna start with revenue, spending, and then I'm gonna call my third level final level. Um, so instead of 
two columns and values, you can actually have eight columns here in the values. And it's basically just walking through left to right how the Sankey is ultimately going to look. So similar to the Microsoft, um, but it's just the setup in the table is slightly different. Okay, so exact same way, let's import to Excel into our PBIX file. And got a new tab here, as you can see, it's that same exact table we had. And you can see on the profit, I actually skipped that middle level because I want profit to flow all the way through to the end. Let it load up here. So the chart expo data came in and I already showed you how to access through the third party store. So this chart actually has a $10 per month user fee. If you want to get the watermark off, you can do a seven day free trial by entering your email. Um, that's just what I'm doing here. So determine if that's worthwhile for you. We'll add the visual in and the category data you want to add all your um your categorical data so i've got all three levels coming in there and then sum of value and that'll generate it and then of course i've got this watermark here and then it's telling me to buy the subscription um we'll just uh, this little selection area too you can um once you buy a license you can put the key in there and i think the the watermark goes away but i'll walk through sort of how we can format uh this chart and I'd call the main difference between this one and the Microsoft one is you do have more flexibility on um, formatting and basically how the levels flow with each other. And you do get those eight levels. So you can make this kind of a complex Sankey diagram. Like if I click drop operating expenses, you can effectively end it um, at some point in your walkthrough uh, from inputs to outputs. Um, there's a separate area here to make different colors. So that made everything green because I clicked the leftmost one, the revenue. Um, on color direction, if you just do left, it'll color the shadow area to the left. If you do all, it'll shadow all the, or it'll color all the shadows to the left or the right. Uh, now down here in level three, like if I do profit and I do green, um, and it's also on all, it's going to flow to the left. If I do node links right, there's nothing to the right of profit. So that light green doesn't go to the right. Um, so all that flexibility is here for you. And then of course we can adjust the fonts and data labels a little bit. They've got a bold selector here. And you can turn off the percentage, you can turn off the absolute value um, and make it look how you'd like it to look. And you can drag up and down. You can't drag left to right like the Microsoft chart. So I hope this taught you how to build some Sankey charts and get out there and build some cool stuff. Mm -hmm.